I have been teaching 12 years in public schools teaching art. I want you to have a plan. I want you to have an idea of what you're making that I can see. The way I do this animal project, it's a problem solving system. They have to um, conceive of what their animal is and figure out what building technique will work for them to get the effects they want. It depends on how big his body actually is, not just the wings. The wings are usually the largest thing on a uh, dragon. It breaks animals down into parts. You look for the cylinders, you look for the oval shapes, and so you're thinking about the different forms that go into make an animal, and I want them to have confidence in what they're doing and have a variety of experiences in many different media and types of art. What do you think, Heidi? Uh, I think that she probably rolled it out and then uh -huh. tried and make a, a slab. Yeah, slab. I see it too. The other thing is that sometimes kids who are not good in one area, you know, or not as proficient or um, a lot of times kids who've been told they're hyperactive or that kind of thing and then they get clay and they're like a different person and are able to be very successful with that. Okay. It's your design and you're very creative so you need to okay. decide and I'm how you want to look. When they, they realize what they can do and they start putting the texture on and little details where they see, oh look what she's doing and then they get creative. So, um, you know, think about how big it's going to be, start making one of the animals, and then you make everything else to them. It's really something to see a project that totally absorbs every student.